back in our upload.php, right before our require once header, we're going to type opening and closing PHP tag. Then at the top, we create a new variable called message and assign null value to it. Then we check if is set post caption. Then we go into process uh, the values populated from our form. So the first thing we're going to do is to create the new object called upload, object upload, which will be the instance of a new class called upload. So now, before we move any further, we need to obviously create this class. So we go to our classes folder, create a new file and call it upload.php. Inside of our upload.php, we start with the opening PHP tag and class definition. So class upload. We're going to create a few properties for this class. First one will be directory. Actually, we don't need this one. First one will be name of the field, which will be public property field name. And by default, it will equal image. Then we'll have new file name, public new file name, which will be the name we want the file to have after being uploaded. It's not necessary to specify this, otherwise it's going to, it's going to use the name which a uh, file had before the, the uploading, but we have this option in case we need it. Then we have new file name ready to upload because we also go into add to the file name. This file name, we're going to basically clean the string because it may have spaces, apostrophes and so on, which aren't good for obviously uh, file names. So we're going to clean this name and output this uh, new name and, and have it ready for insert to the database and for the upload. So public new name. Then we have max file size. By default, we specify this as one megabyte. So public file underscore size. You can obviously define different uh, size of the file, but for one megabyte is going to be 1048576. Okay, now if we scroll up a little bit, after file size, we're going to have allowed extensions. And it's going to be public again, extensions, array, and inside of this array, we want JPG, JPEG, PNG, and GIF. And now we're making them public because obviously uh, you might want to change this. Let's say you're going to have one form for uploading PDFs. Then obviously these extension, the extensions won't be relevant. So outside of this class, you will be able to change these extensions uh, after you've instantiated the class within uh, uh, your code, basically. So after extensions, we have our extension of the file. It's extension, no intention. Oh gosh. Okay. And now we have public underscore extension. Then we have path with directory name to upload to. And that's going to be pu uh, public as well, underscore path. Now if we scroll up, next one will be uh, whether validation has been performed. So this is just private this time because we're not going to be using this property outside of the class valid by default equals false. Then we have error index and it's going to be public error. Okay, uh, now it's time to provide the validation messages. So we create array of error messages. And we start with public underscore validation equals array. And we continue with this tutorial uh, in the next video.